Hey there friends, how's it going? This video is actually sponsored by Warner Bros. New Harry Potter game has just come out. Harry Potter games have been a huge staple of my channel ever since I started again in like 2017. And also they were just a huge part of my childhood. Of course, they've come a long way since looking like this. I'm gonna take a look at this new game, which is set in the 1800s, the Harry Potter world, and it's an open world RPG. And after all these years of not getting to experience a Harry Potter game for the first time again, here we go. Oh wait, never mind. <laughs> Before we can actually play, we gotta make our character, of course. My plan is to be evil, so I need to look evil. Wait, I think I've figured it out. This is kind of it. Yeah, I have a way cooler scare than Harry Potter. I'm gonna be the big hero. It's just a cute name I came up with. I think it suits him. His second name can just be the first, so everyone knows that I'm not breaking any uh, copyrights or anything here. This is my name. Oh, and there he goes, off to Hogwarts. My own little Voldy. <laughs> he grew up so fast. Well, why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wait, do I not get to go on the train? We we have to go together with you old guys? Are you also transfer students or or what is happening here? I thought it was a glitch, but yeah, no, that makes sense. Magic, I forgot. Yeah, if this was a glitch, I'd be worried. <laughs> a new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. I love how it even says Voldemort the first in the subtitles. I love this decision. What the hell is that? Is that a, a big bird or something? I don't know. I'm new to this whole magic thing. Remember, I'm a transfer student. I don't know what this mysterious device is that they're seeing, but I feel like I shouldn't be seeing it, especially when my name is Voldemort the first. Okay, well, Voldemort the first just figured it out. We do. Oh, never mind. He cursed them all. That wasn't a bird at all. I knew that was bigger than a bird. <laughs> well, little Voldy, it's been real. But it looks like you're about to be eaten by a few dragons. Oh, he can see the horses because he saw death. Oh my god, that's so cool. Oh, oh, that was weird. That was like the, the moment I realized I, I'm a nerd. You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. <laughs> it's like he's posing for the perfect selfie, but uh, no, he's just injured. I'm just refusing to heal him. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. Okay, someone's targeting me already. Actually, you know what? Maybe I'm not the main character here. Like, I know I'm the main character of the game, but I seem pretty unimportant at this stage <laughs> for them to be trying to assassinate me just because I'm a transfer student. Oh, it's like being back in the old Emerald Isle itself, back in Ireland. You cannot walk off the edge, by the way. Can confirm. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. Uh, Professor George is dead, and I just want to go to school here. <laughs> I don't know if I should be getting involved. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me. I uh, go on, so let's do it. Absolutely, sir. Good. Oh, and can confirm you can't jump off the cliff either. <laughs> I don't know why I'm the one to test all of these things for you. I assume that's why you're watching the video. But magic is no different than any power. <laughs> what really matters is the one who wields it. <laughs> oh, sorry, yeah, I'll be the one who wheels it. Yeah, the, the magic. Sorry, I was playing with pots. Oh, now I can magic the pots. This is great. My pots per second rating has gone flying through the roof. The professor's like, wow, he moved on fast to uh, real creatures. <laughs> I'm trying to murder the birds. I don't know why we chose to <laughs> wear such billowing robes out onto the edge like this, but let's hope for the best. Repair! Oh my god, he's a very powerful wizard. I feel so inferior all of a sudden. <laughs> I was just trying to hit seagulls. Although it's not like fully fixed. I don't know, I could use another repair or two. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Uh, me. I am out of place. But other than that, I'll try and find something. There's a few pots over here. <laughs> I hope that wasn't a port key. What's this? Professor Fig. Uh, wall is a mirror now, Professor. <laughs> I don't know what you make of this. What in Merlin's name? Godric's heart. Where are we? Wait, 
What? We got teleported somewhere else? Is this meant to be Green Guts or...? Hello? Hello, I'm a member of the public and I'm here to ruin your day as is tradition. Welcome to Green Guts Wizarding Bank. Vault number 12, I presume. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't think either of us know what we're getting ourselves into. This way then. Stay close. I don't know why you're worried about me, man. I just saw a guy getting eaten by a dragon, and it didn't seem to phase me at all. <laughs> Vault number. God, how many packs of cigarettes do you smoke a day? Momentous day. <laughs> all right. We're here at the vault. I'm so curious what this has led us to. I think I'm robbing the bank. <laughs> yeah, he was looking right at me. That 74 gold was not in our vault. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might- The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Well, that's a bit worrying. <laughs> We're gonna die in here. Professor? Nothing phases my guy. He does not care. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Um, I, I don't- I don't think I'm a very good learner. What am I supposed to do here? Oh, I get it. Okay, yeah, I, I think I get it. All right, I learned something. There we go! All right, I did a magic! Lumos! I don't need Lumos. My hair is my beacon. <laughs> I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. Um, I, I think I'm in over my head, Professor. I'm gonna be honest with you. Oh my lord, what is that? Um, yeah, I, as I'm saying, Professor, I'm I'm in over my head here. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. What do I do? 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 Ah, professor, help me! Professor! Professor Fig. Oh no, where did the professor go all of a sudden? Voldemort the first is afraid of the dark. Oh no, do I have to fight more statues but alone this time? I suppose I'm on my own this time. Okay, well my first duel, <laughs> I've already been a hit. I don't know what I even call it a duel, it's just big stone statues trying to kill me. Oh, I just learned how to counter now as well. Oh, these rocks don't stand a ch- Ow, dude, stop it. This one is so powerful. Do you not know who I am? I'm Voldemort the first. I'm gonna steal all their names so no one can have them. I'm L Lord Voldemort the first. He who must not be named. The boy who lived. The boy who lived, laughed, love. Ah, uh, that was a, a misclick. <laughs> yeah, it did it again. <laughs> all right. Well then, that was embarrassing. He's such a clumsy wizard. I keep uh, accidentally using Lumos or Protego and all this stuff. Maybe he's finally on edge. <laughs> Not much has really affected him today and it really should have. Uh, but floating potion? Yeah, that's mine. I'm gonna take that. Oh man, the professor's pouring out the bottle. It's someone's memories. This seems a bit invasive. Anyway, let me see. <laughs> Going face first into your memories. Let's see what you got. The witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. I'm not sure I want to know what this knowledge is that they're about to, to give me through all these trials they've put me through. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. I mean, it sure seemed like it, and I, I don't think I want to go down that route. <laughs> I nearly died today, and it's my first day. I was right. Ranrock, just... Give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. Okay, now we got trouble. <laughs> the poor banker in the background just wants to go about his day. Uh, I don't know what I get mixed up in this, man. I think you should just go back to the desk. Sir, I, I must insist. You should have stopped talking like five minutes ago, man. Honestly. I tried to warn him. Perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Great, now I'm going to die next and I don't even know what I've gotten myself into. Well, at least now we might all be dead. <laughs> Misery loves company. I know my 
Oh, no way. Oh my god. <laughs> the professor's gonna die to a big rock with a sword after all we've been through today. Okay, no, we managed to get out <laughs> just about. Hey, Professor, I got an idea. Can I just, like, go get sorted or something? I'd like to go to the feast now. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Oh, actually, he listened to me. Oh, this is great. <laughs> I can't wait to get sorted into the most evil of houses. Hufflepuff. Oh my god, it almost looks as beautiful as the PS1 version. That's like a, a compliment, actually. That, that's like what kid me saw when I saw the PS1 version. Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. Oh no, just when I thought my day couldn't get any worse, I'm gonna get expelled, aren't I? <clears throat> I'll be in touch. I don't know if you should be, Professor. <laughs> We're enabling each other's bad behavior. I think we should just not hang out anymore. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. My guy looks so done. He's like, after all I've been through, and now this hat is kind of taking the piss out of me. Oh, it gives you a quiz. Okay, I can't wait to start classes. No, I can't wait to explore. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. <laughs> he sounds like a 12-year-old <laughs> on front of the whole school. I love it. Okay, I'm going to be honest with these answers. I, I, I think out of all of these, I relate most to curiosity, probably. A desire to learn? I do enjoy a good puzzle, and I believe I have a ready mind. No, that's not what I meant. I just mean I get curious about things, and then I get distracted. I guess it's more procrastinating than curious now that I think about it. Perhaps you belong in Ravenclaw. Uh, no, 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 no. I would, I would stick out like a sore thumb in there. No, you're, you're wrong. Respect your, you know, opinion. I know this is kind of what you do and all, but um, I'll go and slither and thank you. I detect a growing sense of ambition. No, you don't. I don't. Told you about it. You belong in Slytherin. <laughs> Look how happy he is. He's living up to his name. I said I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Did we just get kicked out of the hall? I just got here. Well, I was late, I guess, but I haven't eaten all day. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm Professor Weasley. Oh, a Weasley. I should have known, <laughs> with the red hair and all. This is the entrance to the Slytherin common room. In order to enter, one must simply speak the correct password. Aspiration. Oh, I was hoping it was like, bad guy or something. That would have been a cool password. Ew. Oh, we've a gross door. Is it too late to go back to Ravenclaw? Sleep well. I'm going to bed. Oh, imagine waking up to that every morning. That would be awful. That would mean that I'm just sitting on the riverbank with nowhere else to go and I look up at that castle every day just being sad. Man, I'm having a pretty lonely start and no one wants to hang out with me. They all left the room without even saying hello to me. Protego! Oh, <laughs> sorry again, I'm nervous. First day jitters. I suppose some introductions are in order. Protego! Oh, I was trying to protect myself from social anxiety, but it didn't work. Can I help you? <laughs> the one guy I go to approach is the guy who was reading to himself. I'm Sebastian Sallow. Welcome to Slytherin. You just get yourself settled. We can talk more later. Okay, he he's lovely. That was nice. I thought we'd just talk about evil stuff since we're Slytherins, you know? <laughs> you know, if I could get away with it, I think I'd just murder one of the other students, you know? I'm Imelda, by the way. Shame I wasn't with you and Fig. I could have lured that dragon away. My skills in a broom are legendary. Okay, that that's great. All right, okay. <laughs> You're more the Slytherin I expected. I'm just gonna indulge her. I wish you'd been there. You would have solved everything. Perhaps Professor Fig's friend would would have survived if we'd had your help. Precisely. Yeah, Perhaps yeah, that was <laughs> that was a great conversation. Oh my god, this guy's life is ruined because he lost a game of chess. Dude, you, you didn't even really seem like you knew how to play. I don't know why you're so upset over this. <laughs> this other poor person is just trying to not make eye contact because this is so awkward. Hey, uh, the name's Voldemort the first and I don't know anything about personal space. How are you doing? Wait, his name is Gaunt. Isn't that Voldemort's name? I'm Ominous. Ominous Gaunt. I'm Voldemort the first. <laughs> He's like, hmm, that's a pretty nice name. <laughs> I'll write that down somewhere. Is the new fifth year Slytherin in here? 
Professor Weasley's waiting for you just by the stairs. Oh no, why am I getting singled out so much? I'm already struggling as it is. Protego! Oh no, wrong one. Protego, yeah! Anxiety can't get me now, I'm in my bubble. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Honestly, I was lucky it wasn't my last. It was a close one a few times. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. I must say, you learn a lot more in this game. Like, the teachers are much better. In the other Harry Potter games, you had to, like, nearly die in an obstacle course to learn any spell. It's We're out now, we'll like to <laughs> Okay, so I can flu powder my way around the castle. That's pretty neat. I feel like I'm gonna be the weird kid that's just staring at a wall all the time because I'm just kind of observing everything. <laughs> There's so much going on here. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. <laughs> Our King's Cross Station. Oh, God, I'm going to break my legs. Is there a spell to repair them, though? You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. Okay, they want me to go to class and stuff. Can I just leave? I want to go explore by myself. I know it's my first day, but oh, I better go back. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival. Oh yeah, I did actually. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Yeah, I'm lying to this lady. She's been nothing but nice and I've started off my story lying to her. <laughs> now I'm gonna double down on lying by lying to him about me lying in the first place. I did try to evade her questions, though I feel a little deceptive. Oh, I get to pick which class I want to go to first. Oh, Dark Arts. Oh, it's defense against the Dark Arts. Well, I, I guess it will do. Um... Uh, <laughs> I, I saw a chest on the map and I thought I could just kind of walk over and get it. But no, I have to earn it. Well, that's disappointing. Wait, there's like a dice here. I'm I'm too sleepy to figure this out right now. <laughs> <gasps> yeah, all right. Now this is gameplay right here. <laughs> now we're exploring. 142 staircases and this is where they put me. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this guy, Coil. Can I interact with him or was he just complaining? All right, I think he was uh, not meant to be seen complaining on the job, but I saw it. The hell is that? <laughs> oh, it's looking at me. All right, I'll go inside. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm. Levioso. <laughs> <laughs> you dare question my teaching methods? You die now. Let us begin with a basic cast. I'm making this class very awkward for everyone. <laughs> I want to kill everyone before the day is out. They're flying everywhere. Remember, Protego. A surprise. Oh, sorry. Premature Protego. I, I do that a lot. Well done. Okay, so basically Levioso drops their shield and then you can just start smacking them around the place. I love this new spell, Professor. I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. Basic cast and Protego. Okay, here we go. It's duel time. I don't know why we always have to stand on the table for this, but it's duel time. <sighs> Professor, I know you just taught me how to do the Levioso one, but I've forgotten. <laughs> Can I get like a reminder or something? Levioso. Oh, wait, I remembered it. Okay, lift up and then smack, smack, smack. Yeah, this is great. Okay, I'm learning. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. And I'm winning. Oh, look at that goofy smile. He's so happy with himself. I put you on the spot and you rose to the challenge. Points to Slytherin. Points in general? Do you want to specify an amount or can I, is that like a blank check? Do I just, like 500 points to Slytherin, please? Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. He's trying to save face. No, I, I've never used my wand in combat before. You're just very bad. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. You see, I like this guy. I like his attitude. This is why I picked Slytherin. You just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. My guy seems very naive. He's just giving me advice to sneak around the castle and not getting caught. And my guy loves that. He thinks it's great advice. Voldemort the first away. I think that's what I'm going to do. You know, new school, new me. I am having a tea party now. <laughs> Voldemort is also into tea parties. Okay, I made it to charms class. I hope I learn another murdering spell. I love the last one. Hello. 
I am Netty. Uh, hi, I'm Voldemort the First. <laughs> I love how the Gryffindors and Slytherins aren't just pure enemies, because I guess the main series always seem to imply that, but surely not everyone in those houses just hate each other, right? Okay, it turns out he's teaching us how to build a house, I think. Oh no, he's making us a mini game. <laughs> this guy's the best professor ever. Although a home ownership spell would have been really helpful too. That arguably would have made him a better professor, actually. That would have prepared me for the real world. Yes. Very good. I don't think it was actually. <laughs> so do I just let? Oh, okay. I, Splendid. I. Yeah, I think I'm good at this by accident, Professor. D did I win? <laughs> Very good. Points to Slytherin. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Oh no, he's gonna embarrass me in front of everyone. <laughs> the scoreboard. <laughs> Here we go. Trying to get in her way to psych her out a little bit. Oh, she got a 50 right off the bat. What if I try and knock her one off? Yeah, so just steamroll towards... The oh, no, I didn't pull it enough. Okay, Voldemort, let's show her how evil we really can be. Oh, God, that didn't affect it as much as I thought it would. <laughs> it got me a nice 50, though. Okay, Voldemort, it all comes down to this. <laughs> Your legacy. <laughs> Oh god, oh that was pathetic. Voldemort, no. <laughs> now no one's gonna remember you as the main Voldemort. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? No, I'm already feeling pathetic. Don't make it harder. <sighs> okay, Voldemort. <laughs> Here we go. Akio. Okay, I knocked us both off. No, no way did her stay up. Come on. <laughs> this is so pathetic. Okay, all I have to do is knock her one off and get the 50. This is gonna be easy. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, oh no, wait, I think I've done it. Yep, I win. <laughs> I've earned this. <laughs> all right, I earned my dignity back. Let's end it there, Professor, please. One apiece. Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. No, if anything, you still overestimated me. <laughs> like, that was really sad. An outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. He's making up excuses now <laughs> for the horrible performance that we did. Professor Ronan reminds me of my grandfather. Loads of wisdom, but a bit mad. Shh, dude, he's right over there, and he seems nice, but he's got that, like, murderous glint in his eye that's just, you know, it puts me on edge. Hello there. You're the new student, aren't you? Um, yes. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not very good at talking. Hope your first day's going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. <laughs> Is that a dig? <laughs> or are they just going off the fact that I technically won? It really wasn't all that challenging. There's treasure here somewhere. I, I don't know if it's in this room or if it's in like a room nearby. Oh, is that the treasure down there, maybe? I, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm gonna give up. <laughs> I didn't try that hard, but I'm gonna give up. Fight, fight! It's a bold attack! Was the Minister of Boot or the Minister of Black? Wait, is that Peeves? Oh, that's pretty cool. That's a really different take on him. That's pretty neat. He's uh, still being a pain to everyone else around him, though. Enough! He ruined the entire room. I love him. Ugh. Oh my god, just cleared a whole flight of stairs in one jump. <laughs> Whenever my guy enters a room, he just looks lost and confused. <laughs> I've just been wandering the castle, I guess. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? She keeps pushing this. No, we, we got here fine. It was just a freak accident. The guy died. That was it. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Uh, oh, I think I found it. <laughs> How am I supposed to catch it? Or do I just, oh yeah, wait, magic. Yeah, that's the whole point of where I'm at. There we go, I got it. <laughs> that was easier. Okay, well, for finding the magic pages, he taught me Reparo. This is the best school ever. It's so efficient. Like at this rate, I should know at least one or two unforgivable curses by tomorrow. <laughs> Oh, that was very risky. Anyway, I'm gonna jump anyway. Oh. 
Good, good catch there. Very resilient toesies. All right, we're finally outside. They finally take me outside and I'm immediately inside the water fountain. <laughs> anyway, we're going to Hogsmeade. Wait a second. These guys were in like the PS1 game or something, weren't they? The, the PS1 Philosopher's Stone game where they came down and they were trying to attack you. I'm glad they've calmed down in their later years. They've seen sense. To the left is the Forbidden Forest. Out of bounds to all students. All right, I'm going in. I keep having to like go back on track because I see something and I'm like, oh, I wonder could I jump in the water and I start running off by myself and then I forget I'm on a main quest. Mr. Moon, he's the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. What, that, that guy in the suit? <laughs> oh, God, help me if that's worse for wear. Oh, look right at me. Eyes oh, big as saucers. I don't know what he's putting in his pumpkin juice. And he's obviously had too much of it. Uh, yeah, he seems to have been unwell. You know what? It, it doesn't matter. Let's just leave him there. <laughs> he did warn us to not go this way, but there are people walking from this direction. They seem just fine. Jeez, what an overwhelming street sign. What do some of these even mean? That one just has a frog on it. Okay, this place is really cool, I gotta say. <laughs> Dittany seeds, some spell crafts, and some potion recipes. Okay, let's hope the challenges to get the stuff I need aren't as hard as they were in the older games. Let's try here first. Protego. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Social anxiety kicking in again. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Oh, this is just like a normal transaction. Okay, this also works for me. I guess I shouldn't have to earn things, right? Like I'm paying you for a service. Protego. Oh, t I keep doing that. I'm just robbing this store. <laughs> I just took gloves out of that. I'll be right with... Ah, it's you. Oh, it's Ollivander. Great. Now I can get my own wand. I don't know whose wand I've been using, by the way. <laughs> well, go ahead. Swish. Hmm. How odd. No, I, I think it's me, dude. I think I'm just not very good at this magic thing. You see what I mean? <laughs> the whole place is going to go up on fire. How is this man not dead if this is his way of selling wands? Oh, I can even edit the wand. That is really neat. All right, what do I want it to be like? Uh, this is kind of like an evil wand. Yeah, I like that. Oh, you can even change the length of it. Can I have it like half an inch so <laughs> I can have it like hidden away in my pocket? No. All right, it's ash 14 and a half inches and it's quite bendy. What do you think? Um, I think it's an evil wand, judging by that sound, so I'm pretty happy. He looks extremely happy with this. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. Something inside of me that was saying, maybe you should try those unforgivable curses. I'm just casually looting everyone, <laughs> and they're all okay with it. Maybe they're just too British and polite to say anything. God, this place is way bigger than I thought it would be. Okay, where do I need to go next? My parkour is going pretty good so far. Ooh, what is this one? The village just keeps getting bigger. It's so much bigger than I thought it would be. Let me guess, you're after something fresh. I don't know what I'm after at this point, to be honest. Um, Dittany Seed. Okay, I think this is the last thing on my list. I haven't really gotten the chance to be very evil yet. I'm hoping I can just start, like, striking people down with a Vada Cadaver or something. He's just out running a few errands and somehow ends up murdering a few families in town. Uh, what the hell is that? That doesn't sound very good. Yeah, that that's not good, is it? Like, I don't- I, I, I just got here. So I'm not sure, but this doesn't seem good. Don't worry. I bought my wand 15 minutes ago. I can handle this. What the hell? Oh, wait, no. Those random NPCs have got it under control. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, there's more than one. Okay, I know we're in Slither in, but I'm gonna slither out if that's okay. Can I get out of this? No, the way out is blocked. No, I don't want to repair him. Ah! Uh-oh, he's getting more and more angry. Yeah, <laughs> he's dead. Oh, I hit him again! Okay, I've just infinite barrels here because he created such a ruckus. I can just throw everything at him. Okay, I've kind of figured this out, but my friend hasn't. He's getting absolutely battered in this fight. Doesn't matter, though, because he has plot armor. And now I'm going to invoke ancient magic, whatever this is. Oh my god, okay. I feel like that should be an unforgivable curse. Goodness. 
A second troll. That's all you have to say after that? I just exploded him into dust. Perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Repair it. There we go, and only a few lives were lost, I assume. You know, we can still fix all this stuff, as long as the fountain's okay. I'm sure the village will recover. I like how I'm using spells to put all these boxes back, and they're still in such a disorganized fashion. Oh, this is just a full-on building I'm repairing. God, I'm a powerful wizard. There we go, I repaired the whole village after also exploding that troll. I think I did more than my fair share here. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes in thanks for what you did today. Nice. I saved the whole village and I get some pajamas. <laughs> All righty. It's the least I can do. It literally is. Yes, I would have preferred anything else. Maybe money. Money would have been great. But yes, yeah, saving a whole village and, you know, I get... I get this, which, uh, honestly, it, I don't see the difference. But yeah, this is also great. Thank you. It's the thought that counts. It just doesn't seem like you put in much. Oh, now these, these are where it's at. But he wants money for these. <laughs> yeah, I've been ripped off. This is all cool. Why can't I get any of this? I look like a little detective. <laughs> yeah, this was just to bait me, to, to try and get me involved with his line of clothing. And it's worked. I, I see all the nice stuff he has now. You're most welcome to peruse my shop at your... Uh, okay, thank you. We, um, hold on, we're not very coordinated. We both want to be the leader, you see, so we're not giving up. All right, you go ahead. I'll be the sidekick this time. Can't believe I'm the sidekick in my own story. <laughs> Oh, mysterious hat man. I don't know who he is, but we should follow him. He's up to no good for sure. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is... That if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. <laughs> We're just looking over his shoulder. They all seem a little bit incompetent, don't they? Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. Oh no, Funny Hat Man is looking for me. I don't even know who these people are, but Funny Hat just, he doesn't come across as a good guy. No, what can I... Uh, alcohol, hard liquor. I need to forget everything that just happened. Single-handedly took down a troll. Hey, 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 keep it down, man. I'm trying to forget myself. I want to repress this entire experience since I got here. The only brutes we usually have to deal with. <sighs> <sighs> Funny hat men. Is that what you were going to say? They're behind me, aren't they? <laughs> I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. Sebastian must be feeling really inferior. No one wants anything to do with him. He's just my tag along. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Okay, we intimidated them all. Why would you go into, like, a local pub to try to start trouble? That's the worst place to start trouble. Half the people in there are looking to start trouble already. You're just starting the trouble for them so that they can end the trouble. And on that note, I think we should head back to the castle. Voldemort the first agrees. We need to get out of here. <laughs> we are in danger. Potato! Oh, sorry. That's, again, it's like my spidey senses. <laughs> it just kind of happens without me meaning to do it. You must return Turn to your common room for the night. Access the map. Okay, that's probably good. He's had a very long day. Oh no, my pen pal Professor Fig has sent me an owl. <laughs> Come and see me. I've discovered something in the locket we found at Green Guts. I want nothing to do with you, man. <laughs> Leave me alone. I just want to be a student. Come and see me. Oh, it even has an audio note. <laughs> Great. Oh my god, that's terrifying. Why would they make it do that? It's like it was his final screech before its death or something. Is anyone willing to play wizard chess with me? I really want to play wizard chess. Just anything calming after everything I've been through. I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Oh my god, she's gonna kill him. Well, again. Oh. <laughs> my age-old feud with Potts continues, even in the school. I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Oh my god, they're teaching me outside of class now as well. I'm gonna be ahead of everyone. Who cares if I'm starting off in fifth year, if I get this much special attention? When you're finished, come and see me. Then we shall begin working on Incendio. Oh, excellent. She's gonna teach me fire spell. But I need to win two rounds of crossed ones, whatever that is, and complete a round of spell combination practice with Lunkin. If only a new student would help me with that predicament. Oh, that seems targeted at me. What do you need help with? I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. 
My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year to help me. Well, that's not me, but that's all you have, so I guess I'll help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. Well, I'll try, but I must warn you, my attention span is next to non-existent, so I don't have high hopes for your gobstones. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Wait, is that one of the stones? Oh, I got one! <laughs> Excellent! What the? Uh, is this dangerous? Maybe I shouldn't go up here? Ah, to hell with it. I'm going up here. <laughs> I would be the easiest student to kill if people were after me. <laughs> Curiosity, you know, this is what I was talking about in the beginning. Curiosity killed the Kevin. All right, I don't think the teacher has noticed me, so I'm just going to casually rob her, and then I'm going to get going. So who needs ladders? I have magic. Oh, one of the stones. Yes. Akio. Oh, I nearly tried to pull a picture off the wall by mistake. My aim isn't great. I think this quest is just about getting me to explore the castle, and I'm all for it. These kids were obviously adrenaline junkies or something. Look at where they hit it. Well, I know they could use magic, I guess, but uh, I'm just gonna assume they crawled out on the beams and placed it there. That could be the previous Harry Potter games just clouding my judgment on how the school is, because it seemed like there was a lot of parkour in those ones. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Yes to keep reminding me because I just like try and fly through the whole castle just observing things <laughs> observing everything except what I should be observing oh wait is this the grand staircase it's Ooh, this is very different. I like this. Whoa. <laughs> oh, that is an absolute unit. You know how some of them can come alive? I really hope that one can come alive and crush me. He'd be Voldemort the first and Voldemort the last. Oh, that scared me. Whoa, what? Oh, no, it's just an NPC that happened to be walking in. I thought this was like a grand reveal over who was stealing the gobstones or something. It looks so dramatic. I don't think a single student likes Professor Black. They may pretend to like him, but they don't. I'm just eavesdropping on their conversation about the headmaster. I'm gonna tell on them and get loads of points taken off Gryffindor. I'm gonna start the feud between those houses. Black is without a doubt the worst headmaster in the history of Hogwarts. All right, that's enough. Okay, I'll go tell him that. Where am I? <laughs> Even the corridors are so fun to explore. <laughs> I'm completely lost though. Okay, I've definitely seen you before, so I've clearly just ran in a circle. Okay, I know she was around here somewhere. <laughs> I've chosen to not use the waypoint to get back for some unbeknown reason, some insane reason. Ah, oh, but it worked, so I guess you're impressed now, even though it took me five minutes longer than it should have. However did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. Well, that was a bit insulting. <laughs> it's like, what? Are you not capable of that, little girl? <laughs> May I have my gobstones back? No, I think I'll keep them. That'll teach you to stink up your classmates. <laughs> You can actually do that? This is his heel turn. This is when I really get to be evil. You're just as bad as everyone else. I hate this school. Oh, no, I've ruined her day. I just turned her into a dark wizard for sure. Well, everyone, I got a set of gobstones. Hooray for me. And I leveled up from it. Yeah, you hear that? I leveled up. She just gave me the most evil side eye I've ever seen. Okay, now that I've turned evil properly, they've finally given me the freedom to do so. I'm gonna go to a dueling class. I need more spells to be able to mess people up. Ooh, this is cool. <laughs> I feel like I'm internally saying that when I go into most places. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, it's Peeves. Hello. <laughs> Please bother me. Here I've come from the toilet bowl where she said I could swim. Did you practice a mole? Okay, um, Peeves is covering that person in uh, toilet water. I, I don't want to play anymore. I'm, I'm gonna leave. Glad you could make it. Lucan's just over there. Can I help you? Wait, you're in charge here? All right, fair enough. You might be uh, just very talented. I coordinated duels for crossed ones. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. 
Yeah, I did take him down a peg. <laughs> then you've come to the right place. Yes, I can't wait to just be such a bad person all the time. I'm going to be using all the unforgivable curses as soon as I figure out how to use them. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Oh, great. An easy win then. That's fantastic. We'll make you regret signing up. What? <laughs> this is how you welcome new members? Oh, wait, I'm with Sebastian. Oh, no, I'm going to lose. Oh, wait. Oh, we can move around. I thought we'd be on tables again. Ah, my legs. I'm doing a, a weird tactic of going behind them so they can only look at one of us at a time. <laughs> I think it's a good strategy. <laughs> yeah, this guy just turned around like, wait a second. You're killing my friend. This is really satisfying. I'm throwing barrels at students. It's great. Okay, this one, um, they're passed away. They're, they're done here now. So let's deal with the other one. <laughs> I'm just being toxic towards him. This is how bad you are at this, kiddo. Anyway, it's time to kill you. Nice work. I think he's actually dying off screen. I could hear him whimpering. And as a fully initiated member, you now have access to the official Crossed Ones training dummy. Amazing. I hope it's Sebastian. Are these the two that I just beat? One is just sitting there eating an apple. An apple a day won't keep me away. <laughs> my character's so menacing. Oh, but I have my first fan. She's like, yeah, cruelty. Awesome. Everyone just use Protego at the start of this one. Protego, stupefy. Sorry, you two. I'm the main character. <laughs> this oh, wait. No, no. Stop. Stupefy. There we go. You see, I'm the main character. Let me <laughs> This poor kid. You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance at winning. What do you mean? I just showed up and won both rounds. I'm a natural. It's my second day in this school and you have an entire club dedicated to this. I've gone to visit Hagrid's hut, I hope. The PS1 Hagrid is somehow in here. Well, he's not, but I I'm robbing the guy who does live here. It seems just more like a storage thing, which is kind of neat. No one's even using it as a house. <laughs> I think the headmaster's gonna have a word with the new student. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Oh, well then let's not be careful. I want to see what happens. Oh, I wonder do I need incendio for this? Oh, that's the spell I was supposed to learn, but then I went outside levitating goats instead. Oh, wait, what if I'm just supposed to lift this suspicious block on top of it? Levioso. Okay, well my magic doesn't seem powerful enough. Could I perhaps just try and push the block over there? <laughs> There we go. Never doubt my stubbornness. Did it actually do anything? <laughs> I hope the professors aren't watching him because he just spent like all day levitating goats and then doing this. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh man. Oh, I hate being a muckle. Oh, I'm running away from this because I'm embarrassed. I'm going to run into the ocean now. Hello, lovely day for a swim. Well, lovely night for a swim. Hello, can I help you? <laughs> In the middle of the night. She's about to get murdered. I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Okay, well, you ask the right guy, because I love diving in the lake for some reason. Diving into the lake sounds like an adventure. <laughs> How has this guy lived to this point in his life? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. Okay, first of all, if you want me to get an astrolabe, um, what is an astrolabe? You're gonna have to uh, help me out here. It's an astonishing ancient navigational tool. Well, it can't be if you lost it. Okay, well, I'm out in the middle of the lake. I'm gonna start diving now. I bet she's killed many a person by doing this. Like, why is she hanging out here at night? That's the worrying thing. I was worried about me because I know I'm a bad guy, but maybe they're bad too. And I'm finding a lot of clothes down here. Like, like, I really think she's lured a lot of people to their deaths and I might be next. Elegant shirt and tie uniform. That's a nice one. Can I change into it now? Oh, now we're talking. <laughs> Where's that hat from earlier? Then I can be a proper detective. All right. I got the family heirloom that has baited many a person to their deaths. Voldemort the first will return, though. I didn't find the dive too terribly difficult. You sound disappointed. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible. Did you find the astrolabe? 
Uh... <laughs> I did find it. However, I've taken a liking to it, so I'm going to keep it. <laughs> I hope your new astrolabe brings you nothing but sorrow. If you can even work out how to use it. Oh, I'm sure I can figure it out if you managed it. After all, I did outsmart you. Oh, by the way, I leveled up from that, just so you're aware. The professor's up there in the window, like, first the goats, then the lake and that rock he was running into. Now he's just standing there in the swamp. But I think he's done enough for one day. There are some things we didn't quite get to, like uh, brewing potions, growing plants, tending to magical creatures. Uh, let me know if you want to see more. Uh, you can check out the game for yourself in the description if you choose to do so and uh yeah that's about it thanks for watching bye for now